something in those instances that we've got to understand. I was level two in Modern Warfare, and I was about to prestige again. <laughs> yeah. We're in the pregame lobby. <laughs> yeah, I did kills. say it with hate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did say it with hate, and I'd do it again. 24 kills I, ain't easy. God, I've said awful things over stupid video games. I can remember trying to make a goddamn video. All right, what's going on, guys? So I thought I would do one of these Call of Duty 4 live commentary deals that I haven't done in... I really don't remember the last time I did one. I remember doing one on Modern Warfare 2 with a FAMAS on... Uh, uh, maybe Afghan? That's the last one I could remember doing, so it's, it's been a little while. And like, you know, you need to make the video, and and, and we've just got to get this last kill, and we're done with work for the day. Now I can just go play free-for-all like I wanted to do, <laughs> and uh, I, I don't, I've got my nuke. I can upload this Modern Warfare 2 nuke. It's going to be like $1,500, you know? Like, like we've got to get this thing uploaded. Motherfucker would kill me in the spawn while I'm in my AC-130 or shopper gun or whatever, and, and I definitely called him some and and he was like, oh shit, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> and that and that's even worse because I needed him to come back at me like just as mad. I needed to be like, well, yeah. fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Hope you never get your nuke. But instead, he was like, shit, that's terrible. I'm sorry. How long I'm have mad, you been bro. trying? And I'm like, all day, man. All day. <laughs> <laughs> all day. He's like, all right, I won't boost with you or nothing. But next game, I won't kill anybody in a chopper gunner. I'm like, good deal. Good deal. Just let me lay in my chopper gunner. <laughs> I gotta upload this video. Yeah, I'm such a gamer. Like I that. fucking hate gamers. Shore Wars so is waiting. Times. You hate gamers? Gamers, so many times I hear them on the headset. Angry gamers is just the most pathetic fucking thing to me. <laughs> it, it, I, there's many, there's very few things that'll get me mad than hearing a grown man on the headset being like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> fucking aim, dudes. Play the objective. <laughs> And I'll hear Come it coming on. out of my speaker and I'll get up and I'll be like, fucking pissing me off. And I'll plug in my headset and I'll come in and I'm like, buddy, hello. Hello, you're shit too. <laughs> they can put us on the team together. This is the level you're at. Shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> or, or maybe be a leader, but shut up. Shut the fuck up. I want to hear you complain. And then I got put it away. And then the guy well like, played. I, I, and then people sometimes they'll be like, Okay, I'm rushing objective A. Whoever wants to, come. <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear, like they'll they'll like be a person. Perhaps there's a small percentage, but it's happened. It happens a lot in Valorant. People get mad in some of these games. Valorant, like people get so, and I get so mad because I never, I broke a controller, a Sega Genesis controller in like '94. My mom didn't replace it. Ever since then, I never get mad. I that broke like a I, brick. They're yeah, and I was break. fucking. It was like, and I was bending it all the time. And you know, it was like the plastic would go white. When you yeah. bend it a lot, I kept doing it and doing it, and then one time it See, just fucking snapped. <laughs> <laughs> the the kind of that? anger that you get in Call of Duty is that like flash anger. It's I'm mad right now about this one little thing, and like the next game you don't even care. But in a game like Rust, there will be a guy that you know you're like, yeah, he lives over there on that island. That's the guy's <laughs> ruining our fun. His <laughs> name is Joker. He's friends with Petey, and Joker and Petey are the duo who keep fucking with us and ruining all of my whole group's fun. And we go to this website where you can see what their past aliases were, and so because they'll they continuously roll new names so they so that that we won't know that it's them like scouting us out because they'll just be a naked guy outside. Best pitch your base. for us I've ever heard so far. He'll be a naked yeah. guy outside your base, like looking around, <laughs> and you'll be like, boom, smoke him, and you'll go check and be like, oh, this guy's named Dave. This isn't PD or Joker. You've got to go online and make and look. He changed his Christ. name to Dave last night for 10 minutes so he could come over here and scout us out. They're coming tonight, Mitty. Set your alarm. <laughs> and we set our fucking alarm clock for four fucking a.m. And we wake up and, and we're we're both sitting there drinking our coffee, waiting on PD and Joker, and we're fucking stacked. And they're coming. And and they're not coming because oh, we're playing video games and it's fun. They're coming. They're, we're gonna fuck up Kyle and Mitty tonight. Because fuck those cocksuckers. Fuck those N-word, F-words. Because that's how yeah. rust is. There are like these personal grudges over geographical resources. But moreover, the bile that you can get out of another human being by ruining their time. They want to hear the screams. Because it's a game <laughs> yeah. where you have, you have VoIP. So they'll be like, fuck you, you motherfucker. I was three hours. I was See, grinding. That's to get the that. type of gamer you are. I figured it out. <laughs> I, it it's not about matter. how much fun. It's not about how much. No, it's not that it matters. It's not about how much fun you have. It's about how much fun you can take away from someone else. And, how much and that's why you me. like that's why you like Tarkov. That's why you <laughs> like Russ, because you want to you know that they put in hours and you can take this from them and they'll never get it back. 
You want to take hollow place in my heart from playing so many hours of those games. <laughs> and it, it was, du- it was made there be. by them taking from me. I played those, <laughs> those two games for hundreds of hours with, with this thing in my head thinking I'm sitting here, grown ass man. This is what we're doing with our time. We are doing, we are nothing but a loot collection device. We run around and get the loot. They kill us and take it away. We are here for other for real men's convenience. That's how bad you are at this game. And I had to play like until I got good enough to be like, now the hunters have become the hunted. And like, like actually win a few fucking gunfights. And because mm-hmm. you're running around collecting shit and then they smoke you and they take all your fucking shit. You're, you get you get bullied infinitely in those games. It's all about bullying people and taking their shit. Because you can go out and be a worker bee and cut chop trees. But it's so much easier to run around and kill a bunch of worker bees and take their trees or their rocks or their gold or whatever the fuck. And it what hurts. you really do is you use your podcast platform to get people who are good at the game. You you, you get bullies on your team. I do that. You, you can be a bully too. I do that. I bring that bullies work. with me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'll have my bullies stand outside your base and hold you at gunpoint. And I'll be out there talking shit like I'm the one responsible for it. It's like, yeah, you don't mess with Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. Kyle, yeah, I did. Remember when you were you just send us the me, resources. All my tobacco. Well, this, these two guys are from Poland, and I brought yeah. them in special just for you. <laughs> Dude, Kyle, I remember you talking about all they doing, do. doing Tarkov that way, where you're when you sucked and you'd be like, Vavity, we're playing Tarkov, and then you wouldn't, he wouldn't talk, and you'd just be like, gentlemen, you don't understand what we're gonna do to you. Bavity, make sure he knows they're, we're serious. And then, like, he would harass them and fuck them up and be like, ah, you don't like that, do you? No, you don't. I mean, while you're, like, not doing anything. That's how I want a game. I just want to be a big, fat overlord as my minions do all the hard I'm stuff. Like, what, I'm like a fat, white girlfriend standing behind her black boyfriend talking shit. Because <laughs> I know he's going to smoke you. <laughs> he's going to fucking lay you out the moment you come over here. And I can fucking talk all... I, I'm like Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife. Rest in peace, Beth. Just fucking, come on! Come on, what are you going to do, cracker? I'm dropping white slurs even though I'm whiter than you. <laughs> Dude, Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife probably had That's to give me. her like a, a taller casket. Remember Some of those guys I've recruited are legitimate savants. <laughs> they they will actually be from those Eastern European countries um, with these with accents I can barely understand. And and I remember one night it's 3 a.m. and I'm hanging out with this guy named Timu. And I think he was from, I don't know, Lithuania or Poland or some shit. And and I like laid out my whole life story because it's just me and him stoned as fuck grinding away, like building our base late at night. I talked for 35 minutes telling my life story. And I was like, what about you, Timu? He's like, I pretty much play this game. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, yeah, that's right. That's why I'm hanging out with you. I almost forgot. You're not a real person. You're just a mercenary for, for, for this goddamn video game. Yeah, you're for, for 70 cents that's a day. AI. He's you want to act, talk about yeah, AI? He, he's AI. It's him. He's the NPC. Like in your, Let in me your... just tell you, that dude was good at this game to a level that's hard for you to comprehend unless you've played you have to be pretty good at the game to understand how great he is at the game mm-hmm. like he would bully a team of four like four <laughs> guys are coming up to, to fuck him up and he's he's talking his way through a through, through murking them like like he's playing a single player game and now they will come around the corner and that one is dead headshot triple headshot dead triple headshot dead like he's controlling the recoil so perfectly that he's shooting them three times in the head in a row, like instantly. Don't forget that he as as built a gun. I couldn't even get my hands on a gun when I played that game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was like, I have a stick and a rock. Someone's like, if you ever want to play like, Rust <laughs> and look, nothing but hunger and fear in your, in your belly. <laughs> if you ever legitimately want to play Rust, I know you've got your fight thing going on right now. Um, but but like I would have. If to you want to fight like you. a real man, join Rust, <laughs> dude. It'll hurt no, you. you I've had my feelings hurt. I, look, I, I I didn't cry, <laughs> but but I could have cried. Someone hurt my feelings so bad in rust before like like you don't know what i hadn't been bullied since fucking junior high not like that like there's a kid outside my base with a speech impediment calling me names and they hurt my feelings <laughs> and, and i can't do shit about it because if i step outside he's gonna kill me and take my shit and he'll run up in the hills and deposit it and come back with his oh, nonsense. Yeah, pretty gun. serious predicament, eh, Kyle? You fuckle, you old fuckle. I bet your knees click when you walk, you old fuckle. <laughs> your pumpkins and they're and just it's like, like yeah, they click a little, just the left one. <laughs> they click a little. I'm eating your pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, he's outside eating our crops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, crops. Literally, literally <laughs> your main base. 
Yeah, he can I remember my eating. first base. <laughs> I remember my first base. <laughs> and, and and the worst part about it is we were actually cheating. It was a duo server, two man teams, but I made a village of all of my friends. He came to our village and pushed all of our shit in. Everybody's <laughs> hiding in their houses, peeking. Because <laughs> anytime, any, I mean, there's like eight of us. But if we go outside, he's so good. He goes, <laughs> I'm like, I'll wait it. And, <laughs> and <laughs> my, my, my friends are going, like he's cheating, Elmer bro. Fudd? He's fucking cheating, bro. And, and we're all grown <laughs> men. There's nobody very, in this call under 25. Quiet. <laughs> there's nobody in this call under 25 space. years old. He's a 12-year-old Elmer Fudd. <laughs> wow only a wee Todd would hide in their base like this <laughs> you know what's funny is i'm a weapon you should be at work <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kyle season. Yeah. Kyle Kyle season. And, season. <laughs> but what he was saying was true because we go outside hurts. with our armor and our guns we go outside with an armor and, and a gun to try to deal with him and all he had was a handgun he's naked and he murks us and he takes our full suit of shit and like steals it away. And he, and he says, bring me more kits. Bring me more kits. I, nom, 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 nom. I'm eating your pumpkins, eating your kits. Feed me. <laughs> Feed me, old man. You know? Yeah, and our future. Their base These are your pumpkins. neighbors. And my buddy, we're in a Discord neighbor. call. We're in a Discord call. My buddy's like, bro, what are we going to do? And I'm like, I don't know, man. Let's go play something else. What else could we do? We can't play the game. I, like, like that, The nature of Rust is our base is where we start. Anything we're going to do involves us walking out our front door and like going to get things. Or He's, he's there. He's waiting. Man, next time somebody starts an argument about like people not being able to beat the government in Civil War, I'm going to go, you haven't heard Kyle play Rust, man. <laughs> there's the speech impediment guy we need on our side. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of dirty stuff happening. <laughs> we, we, it, it's, it's a really fun uh, experience, it, and it's mostly driven by person-to-person -person interactions, like, like just finding people and befriending them and then betraying them, or just finding a guy and really just like giving him all your shit to watch a kid. Like, kids... Again, it takes dozens of hours to get a lot of stuff. Like an AK is hours and hours of hard work, but you like drop an AK for a little kid and they'll legitimately scream and squeal and like joy. It's pretty fun to be nice in that game too. Whenever we're done playing, we'll always give all of our hard earned shit away to some person who's never played. But yeah, Rust is a great game. Anytime you want to play Rust, play let me know. Charity. I'll make unhealthy decisions and I'll bring I'll bring Taylor with me because um, I think he needs to play a first person shooter. Uh, slowly but surely, forward. Taylor's becoming a PC gamer. He's he's killing me most of the time in Warhammer. His RTS skills great, and we just got to like transition that into FPS eventually. Yes, yeah, I I'm much more confident playing RTS than FPS games. No, we played like Slipgate or whatever it was called, and you were killing it. I was like, what a fucking liar Taylor is. <laughs> I'm I'm not that good at shooters. I'm I'm not. Oh, but, but you like, were doing well. You were scoring very like, high in that, and I was like, well, like motherfucker. I, I, after playing RTS games, which is like Age of Empires, Warhammer, like like it's so much less stressful to play a game where it's like the worst thing that happens is you respawn, or it's like and like you didn't. When like what Kyle was talking about with like fucking up someone's day, when you've spent like forty five minutes building your civilization, manually making sure that enough people are on food, wood, gold, and stone to facilitate the creation of your shit, and then they surprise you with a rush and they push your shit in, like that's upsetting because you're not respawning. It's like someone's coming into your base, destroying your shit, and is tacitly telling you you suck and I everything you've built is nothing. It's nothing to me. I come in and I spit on it, and that's very disappointing. The you the, wanna, it's it's way worse than AOE because it's such a, a more complicated game. But I I've played one game of Total War Warhammer Three on live, like in multiplayer, and everybody out there probably knows Total War franchise top down RTS. And all my experience of watching multiplayer trying to get better at this domination mode came from watching this channel called Turin. He's like a commentator of of Total War games. And I saw these names where he's like, I'm commentating another couple of pros, you know, uh, dog person versus RTS platypus or someone RTK versus platypus. RTK platypus and like RTK demon versus RTK platypus. And like, I just wanted to learn how to play the game. And so I got online and in my first and only game of multiplayer, I get matched up with RTK platypus, who's a professional <laughs> player of this game <laughs> and go. to the point that I recognized his name. I'm like, no, no. And then I went to YouTube and I checked and it's like, yeah, this is the guy. And it was not at no point in the game. Did I have even a, a, a glimmer of a shot? Like he was toying with me, did whatever he wanted. It was it was not fun, but it, was it wasn't as devastating. Day.